Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our channel is all about the food. We do taste tests, recipes, grocery hauls, and what's for dinner. And we are kicking off another week of What's for Dinner with some Mississippi pot roast. Now, if you are new to our channel, you may not know that we are in the middle of a freezer and pantry challenge. Reason being, we have a little baby on the way in January and I'm just trying to be a better steward of um, our money, not spending as much money on groceries when we have stuff on hand. Plus, I'm trying to clear out space in the cabinet for the baby's things. I've mentioned before that our pantry is pretty small and um, I've had to store things in the cabinet, so I'm trying to, you know, um, free up some space. So, let me show you. We are having Mississippi pot roast. I had the pot roast in the freezer and um, I already had the pepper, peppers, excuse me, in the cabinet. I had the mashed potatoes in the pantry as well. And then um, I um, went out today and I bought some frozen green beans because I needed those. So let me show you what the pot roast looks, in the crock, looks like in the crock pot. Here it is, it's really good, very simple to make. Um, I had an almost three pound pot roast and to the crock pot I added um, some dry brown gravy and then a packet of the dry ranch seasoning. The original recipe calls for only six of the peppers, but I used an entire jar of the peppers. I poured out the liquid. Howard and I really like these and they're not spicy. They just add a really good flavor to um, the beef. So here it is in the crock pot. I cooked it on low for about seven hours. So here that is. And Howard has a preference for mashed potatoes. So I made him mashed potatoes as I mentioned. And these are the mashed potatoes that I used. And then I am having the same thing except I prefer rice with my roast. And so here is my plate. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll be having leftovers tomorrow. And if you've been following our channel for a while, you know I typically don't show leftovers. I just show the new meals that we're making for the week. So this is what we're having for the next couple of nights. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I know it's supposed to be a pantry challenge week, but I just did not feel like making anything tonight. I had an errand to run after work, so I stopped by Little Caesars and I got their thin crust pepperoni pizza for $6.49. And then I got their three meat treat for eight bucks. And here it is. It has, um, I think it's sausage, pepperoni, and bacon. So, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, we are back on the freezer challenge. So we are having General So's chicken, and here is what we are eating. I really like Innovation products. They're pretty good, but this is uh, General So's chicken, which is spicy if you've not had it in a Chinese restaurant before. Um, it is pretty good, and it says uh, lightly battered tempura, uh, chicken breast and a spicy Asian style barbecue sauce with sesame seeds and chili pepper flakes, medium spicy. So there it is. And um, so this is what we're having for dinner tonight. I had some leftover white rice in the refrigerator. So there it is, as you can see, jasmine rice. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight. There's a bunch of extra sauce because um, Howard really likes a lot of sauce on his food. So I just basically gave him most of the sauce. So that's why it's kind of pulled together like that. But anyway, this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Okay guys, so Howard and I are out to eat with um, my aunt and her friend. We're at a Chinese restaurant that we really like a lot. So my aunt ordered the crispy fried chicken right here. And her friend ordered the fried duck. He already put some rice on his plate. Yeah. <laughs> Howard got the stir fried uh, chicken with vegetables and it's spicy. And I ordered the Mongolian beef. And then it came with uh, some steamed rice for all of us to share. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. 
guys, so we are having another meal from our freezer. We are using up these jumbo chicken um, franks that were in the freezer. Um, of course we've, well I shouldn't say of course, but we've never had chicken franks before. I tasted a bite and it's pretty good. Um, so you probably already know, this is Howard's plate. So this is his hot dog. Um, we are using the King's Hawaiian's hot dog buns. They had a special at Kroger um, in their buns were buy one, get one free. So um, that's his hot dog and he has some avocado. You guys know he likes avocado and he also has some chipotle mayo and then some ketchup. You know, he's a ketchup connoisseur. This is what the chipotle mayo looks like and of course Heinz ketchup. This is my plate and I just have a, a little bit of yellow mustard on there and then we are both having spicy Doritos. This was something that was in our pantry as well that we needed to use up. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.